Welcome to Inside Lake Forest. I'm Eileen Luby, your host, and today I will be visiting with the Egg Harbor Cafe here on Western Avenue in Lake Forest. They serve gourmet breakfast and lunch in a warm country setting. Let's step inside. Hi. Hi, Eileen. How are you? Hi, Bruce. Good. Great to have you. Thank you for being here with us today for Inside Lake Forest. My pleasure. Bruce, our general manager here at Egg Harbor Cafe in Lake Forest, and another familiar face, Jill, who is the assistant manager, who's been here since basically store opening in December of 1986, as I hear. That's correct. Wonderful. There's a lot of kids here in Lake Forest. Absolutely. Well, Bruce, let's take a seat and you can tell me all about the history of this great business. Sure. Right this way. So, Bruce, we're here in a, in a wonderful booth here in the back of Egg Harbor Cafe. Now, tell me about the history. How did this location start and the company in general? Well, the owners, um, Jack Wright and his daughter Amy and his son-in-law Mike, had a dream that they wanted to own a restaurant one day and they opened their first restaurant in Hinsdale in 1985 it was our first location. Uh, Jack is a longtime Lake Forest resident okay. and he likes to walk in the morning. After they opened uh, their first one, which had been open about a year, very successful, he decided that he, breakfast being his favorite meal of the day, decided he would like to have a place that he could walk to. To have breakfast, okay. and that led to the, the opening of our second location here in Lake Forest. Okay, and that was in October of 1986. Yeah, that's correct. Great. Now, Egg Harbor Cafe really caters towards two meals, correct? Breakfast and lunch. Breakfast and lunch. That's and right. tell me about about your hours, and we can talk a bit about what you offer here. We are open every day, 6:30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Breakfast and lunch only. Uh, no dinners. We have the, the traditional bacon and eggs and sausages. Our, our menu varies widely. We also have uh, a number of very unusual egg dishes, creative things that we do. We have crepes, frittatas, omelets, of course various types of benedicts. It's very extensive. Pancakes, waffles. Pancakes, waffles, French toast. And then for your lunch crowd, I know as myself a, a frequent visitor uh, with your takeout, uh, mm -hmm. being that I work also in Lake Forest, um, you serve all sorts of sandwiches and salads and soups. That's correct. Tell me about your extensive selection there. Um, we have a number of uh, salads. Most of our, being Egg Harbor Cafe, most mm -hmm. of our dishes include either eggs or chicken involved in okay. it. Okay. Uh, so a lot of our salads have chicken in it. Um, we also have uh, we recently, within the last couple of years, started uh, a burger menu as well. Okay. Uh, the burgers are. I'm going to say they're the best in town. They're really good. Fantastic. You cater to a pretty diverse group of individuals here in terms of dining at, your, at the Egg Harbor experience. Tell me about the difference in ages and opportunities people can come in here and dine and maybe have a meeting. It's amazing to see the, uh, the, the very different people that come in here, ranging from uh, businessmen having meetings, um, mothers that come in after the kids are in school, mm -hmm. uh, kids themselves. Uh, a thing that is uh, unique to the Lake Forest location is the, uh, the fact that we get so many high school kids in okay. before they go to school in the morning. And it's, it's incredible when these kids come in because sometimes they're you know, 20, 25 people at a time. Entire sports teams will come in and have breakfast. Uh, mm -hmm cheerleaders, pom-poms, and we really enjoy having them. Well, it's a great sense of camaraderie as the team, um, then supporting a local business like yourself, enjoying a good, healthy meal mm -hmm. uh, that's you know presented here by your great staff. Right. So it really culminates all of these wonderful things together to a very unique experience. Mm, that's right. We've got younger kids in, too, that um, often come in by themselves. Uh, I think the parents re know that this is a safe place that they can drop their kids off in the morning, mm -hmm. have a good breakfast, and then walk to school from here. It gives you know that kind of middle age group really a sense of responsibility, learning how to order you know, and pay for a meal out mm -hmm. in public. That's, a, I think, also a great opportunity. But I also saw up front you have um, like coloring contests. So right. Tell me about that. Right, that's our... Um, our kid menu on the back of the children's menu is a, a, a coloring sheet and when they're done coloring they enter it into our contest and we do drawings every month 
Okay. Pick out uh, a couple from uh, different age groups from uh, like 10 to 12 and then below 10 and pick out winners. Call them up and they come in and get a free breakfast. Oh, that's great. And their great. artwork is proudly displayed at the front of the at restaurant. At the front of the restaurant. That's fantastic. So Bruce, speaking of some of those highlighted food items on your menu, I see we've got a couple of dishes that we'd like to talk about. Yeah. This is what we call our, our uh, Southwest Angus Burger. Okay. And that has um, sautéed jalapenos and salsa and melted cheese, Cholula mayonnaise. It's a little bit spicy, but it hits the spot. That's great. This is our ever popular Door County uh, melt, which is a grilled sandwich with our Door County chicken salad. The chicken salad has uh, cranberries and pecans in it. And this is a really popular seller, served it's with potato pancakes. Absolutely one of my particular favorites here. I know it's been on the menu a long time. And this, uh, one of our signature breakfast items, that's the Sir Dugan frittata, bacon, spinach, and tomato inside of a three egg frittata. Oh, wow. With melted cheese on top. The uh, people often ask, uh, where did we get the name Sir Dugan? It actually was named after the owner's dog. Oh, what and a fun story. This has been on the menu since uh, the day we opened. That's Ever. great. And this is the hot chicken pasta salad. Oh, it's wow. a cold salad underneath with uh, uh, hot grilled chicken strips, uh, rotini pasta, broccoli, red and green peppers, mushrooms. And it's served with Caesar dressing, Parmesan cheese, one of my favorites. Oh, delicious. Well, one of the great things I think too about what you serve here is that your items come with a side salad for your lunch and mm -hmm. a potato, whether it's the, looks like the roasted potato mm -hmm. or the potato pancake. So you're really hitting on all food groups. That's right. For, uh, it's for a, a complete meal. It's a complete meal, right. Mm -hmm. Breakfast items have the potato and usually an English muffin. And as you said, the potatoes and side salad on the lunch items. And Bruce, do you typically find most of your diners here order the same thing time after time? Or do you, do you think that people come in and you know, try out that new creative special dish on your specials menu? Well, so often when I'm up at the front and people are on their way out and paying their check, they look up at the special board and go, ooh, that looks delicious. I wish I'd ordered that, but I always order the same thing. The same thing. The Cassie's crepes or the Sir Dugan. So a lot of people know what they come in for and mm -hmm. uh, but if we can get them to change they're often pleasantly surprised Surprise. sure absolutely well there's such a wide array of items on your menu that it take them a long time to try everything so it just keeps bringing them back and bringing them back here which is always important now bruce uh we talked a little bit about the kids and um i know talking to jill when they have you often have birthday parties here and for kids tell me a bit about that we have um something i think that's unique again to, a, uh, to this location is uh, what they call kidnappings. Okay. And it's where, usually with girls, uh, and a group of them will get together on one of their birthdays and show up at their house around 6, between 6 and 6.30 in the morning and actually kidnap them in their pajamas out of bed. And they're all dressed up and they bring them to Egg Harbor for breakfast for the, the kidnapping breakfast. Very it's, fun. It's a lot of fun. And up by your front door you've got a number of photo albums which I think over the years you've accumulated pictures from each of these uh, birthday celebrations. Right. We have a number of, in addition to the kidnappings we also have a number of other birthday parties all the way up to uh, you know adults and seniors and when there is a birthday that we know about we always take a photograph and we print out two copies. We give one to them and one we put up at the front and it stays up at the front desk for a week or two before it get, gets uh, put into a photo album. And we have photo albums that are dating back years and years. That's great. I mean, it's truly a, a showing the residents that you, you have a, such a customer service here that you're offering. And you want them to feel like it's almost home in their own kitchen. Mm -hmm. and, you know, the food's delicious. So every time they come, they, they'll be pleasantly surprised. Our, our, our guests tend to come back time and again. We, we see the, many of the same faces in here over and over again. Most of the time we're on a first name basis with them. This is like their second home. 
That's and that's great. the way we want them to feel. Now, Egg Harbor also has a website, mm -hmm. and can you tell me about that? Uh, if you have menus on there and what people can find. So. Right. All of our locations are on there with photographs. Um, the menu is on there. The, uh, the, the catering menu is on there. The carryout menu. All of our menu items are available for carryout, mm -hmm. and we do a lot of a lot of carryout business, mm -hmm. particularly at lunchtime. A lot okay. of the local businesses will order for the entire office. It's, it's a pretty, uh, you should check it out. It's yeah. a nice website. Well, definitely. And can you tell me what the website address is? Sure. It's www.eggharborcafe.com. Great. Well, that's excellent. And your business hours, again, you're open every day, right. 6.30 till 2. Correct. And how about on the weekends? Weekends, same hours, 6.30 to 2. Great. Well, Bruce, it's really been a pleasure visiting you with you here today. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, our, the residents can at this time smell, but the fragrance here of uh, all the food items being cooked and, and these delicious dishes in front of us really is a tribute to hear um, what you offer our residents and the type of experience they can look forward to when they come and visit. That's great. I hope to see you here. Thank often. you. Well, thank you for watching Inside Lake Forest. Today, I've been visiting here at Egg Harbor Cafe in Lake Forest, right on Western Avenue. We've been visiting with Bruce, who's been telling us about the history and all of the great things that they offer here at Egg Harbor. Please stop in for breakfast or lunch and try out this wonderful dining experience.